so the tower was originally built in 1923 to house the Carillon, but we didn't actually get one in there until 1967. So our Carillon was originally built in 1967 by Picard until it fell into disarray and a new one was commissioned in 2006 uh, from Meeks and Watson, who also provided the university with a practice rig in the office beneath the bell tower. And so our current carillon is made up of 48 bells, the largest being C, uh, which weighs in at 5,000 pounds. And we've had two carillonneurs in, our, in the carillon's tenure here at the college. There was William Geishaker, who played uh, from 1967 to 1998, and our current carillonneur and Marquette Chorus Director, Dr. Mark Canuco. The current guild on campus could be considered future carillonneurs. I think it's, you know, it's a new gray area that we kind of have to explore ourselves, just because, you know, this is all very fresh and, uh, yeah, I think very innovative. So hopefully we have 10 more carillonneurs come the next few years. note is a low C. A low C? Yes. Alright. Yep, you got it. Wait, I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play it again? Sure. You got, you got the first chord. Yeah. Alright, so ready? C. Oh, oh, oh. No, there you go. Respect what might have been a bit easier was just a straight C chord instead of a weird mix in there. Yes, there we go. Got it. Like a classic. Can you give me the starting note again? B flat. E flat? B flat. B flat. There we go. Nope. <laughs> That's not a B-flat. Nope. <laughs> it's all black keys, all upper tones. Oh, tongues. gotcha. Yep. Hooray! Yes! Woo! Got it. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. 